United States President Donald Trump and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un have touched down in Singapore ahead of the most anticipated summit in recent world history. The pair are due to meet face to face tomorrow, with Mr. Trump working to strike a deal that will lead to the denuclearization of one of America's most bitter foes. In return for giving up his nuclear weapons, Mr. Kim is seeking relief from crippling sanctions to ease the economic burden on his reclusive regime. If the summit goes ahead, it will be the first ever meeting between a serving U.S. president and a North Korean leader. A large limousine with a North Korean flag could then be seen surrounded by other black vehicles with tinted windows as it sped through the city's streets to the St. Regis Hotel, where China's President Xi Jinping once stayed. Mr. Trump, who arrived a few hours later, is staying just 750 meters down the road at the Shangri-La Hotel. Bodyguards in dark suits jogged alongside Mr. Kim's limousine, and grim-faced North Korean security guards warned hotel guests not to take pictures as the leader walked to his Mercedes-Benz limousine. Mr. Kim has only publicly left his country three times since taking power after his despot father's death in late 2011 twice traveling to China and once across his shared border with the south to the southern part of the demilitarized zone in recent summits with the leaders of China and South Korea respectively. Shortly after his arrival, Mr. Kim met Singapore's Prime Minister Li Xianlong at the presidential palace. The entire world is watching the historic summit between North Korea and the United States of America, and thanks to your sincere efforts, we were able to complete the preparations for the historic summit, Mr. Kim told Mr. Lee through an interpreter. In his first public comments since arriving, Mr. Kim said Singapore's role would be recorded in history if the summit was a success. Mr. Trump flew into Payalabar Air Base aboard Air Force One and was greeted by Singapore's Foreign Minister Vivian Balakrishnan. Asked by a reporter how he felt about the summit, Mr. Trump said, very good. He then got into his waiting limousine.